Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to turn on and enable NVIDIA Game Stream inside of NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now I do want to point out in this tutorial we are only going to be talking about how to turn on NVIDIA Game Stream, not how to download and install NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So if you want to know how to get NVIDIA GeForce Experience, please feel free to click the link in the description of this video where it'll take you to another tutorial I have that talks about just that. Or you could click the little card that's going to be popping up in the top right of the screen and that'll take you to that same tutorial. With all that aside though, let's talk about what is NVIDIA Game Stream. NVIDIA Game Stream is part of the NVIDIA Share system, and I talk about more detail in the NVIDIA Share part, the instant replay, the record, and the broadcast in that other tutorial I just mentioned. Now, the NVIDIA Stream here, the Game Stream, what this is, is it allows you to stream your game to a single person or friend, so anybody you send this link to is going to be able to watch you play your game with almost zero latency. Now this is just a small simple thing that NVIDIA Share Game Stream is actually capable of doing. What it can do even further, it allows your friend to actually play your game, remote control your computer, your game, from their computer. Now it's a little complicated, but basically just picture this. What NVIDIA Stream allows you to do is have your friend's keyboard and mouse remote connect to your computer and they can control it. Then the screen or game that you are playing is then streamed directly to their computer. So imagine they are using a wireless monitor, wireless keyboard, and wireless mouse that's connected to your computer across the world or wherever you're at as long as you have internet connection. So it is a really cool feature. You can also turn on dual way connection, meaning basically you can have a game where the, the screen is split down the middle. So you're playing a Lego game or your friend's over here and then you're over here and you have a split screen, you both can play that same game together. What's also really cool is even if you're playing a game that doesn't support that, you and your friend have total control over the computer at all times. So your friend can be moving the mouse to the left and you can be fighting and moving it to the right. So a uh, very interesting concept. But what may be very tricky is when you first get NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you're going to have trouble figuring out how to turn this on. Now, what you need to do first is go to your settings, and you need to turn on NVIDIA Share, so we can actually share. And like I showed in the other tutorial that I linked in the description of this video, if we do Alt plus Z, it'll bring up our recording thing, but you'll notice we do not have NVIDIA Stream here. We only have Instant Replay, Record, and Broadcast. And it can be very frustrating trying to figure out how to enable this. All we have to do is let's just do Alt Z again to close that. So that's Alt plus Z. And we're going to make sure we are in our settings. We're going to select our settings. And we're just going to check this little box, Allow Experimental Features. Once we have checked this on, all we have to do is just do Alt Z again and we have NVIDIA Stream right here ready to work for us. I do want to point out it's very important that you do have NVIDIA Share turned on and then you check your experimental features. So way I recommend is make sure you have NVIDIA Share turned on. So it is on. Now we check ex add experimental features Do Alt Z pull this up again and we see that we do have that. So you do want to make sure you go in that particular order to get this to pop up. Now that we have this up, let's talk a little bit about how we use this. What you have to do is you have to be running a game that actually accepts and uses NVIDIA Stream. If we select this now and say, okay, we want to send an invite to a friend or copy an invite URL. So the only way your friend can actually connect in and do all this is you have to send them a link to your Pacific connection that you just set up. And this link changes every time you do this. So uh, your friend is going to have to get a new link for every time you try and stream a game. So I do want to point that out. So if you click send invite, you can search your friend's name out and all that. But notice here we're getting system requirement. A supported game is required to use this feature. We do not have a supported game here on this system that will actually use that because we're not playing the game right now. So we're not going to be able to do it. So to do this, let's close that. We'll do Alt plus Z. I'm going to launch a game that is supported. For me, that game is going to be Overwatch. So I'm just going to boot this up here real quick. And it'll take only a moment. And once Overwatch has started, 
it'll just take a moment. Here we go, now we are logged in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do Alt plus Z to open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience, the share system here, and we're gonna select stream. And now, if we go to, whoop, we're gonna click copy invite URL, so stream, copy invite URL, select that, and instantly it is now working. Invite sent to your friend. Now, the invite has not been sent yet. We have to send this link to our friend to allow them to take over. So feel free to send that link whichever way you would like. I'm going to send it to my friend as a text message. So I'm just going to send them that link and now let's hop over to their computer and see what that link looks like for them. Alrighty, now we are on our friend's computer. This is the computer that is going to be remote connecting to our main computer, the computer I just left. So if you are going to be streaming this from your computer and sending your link to your friend, I recommend giving your friend a link to this video and telling them to skip ahead to this spot because this is the part where I'm going to show how they can set up that part of the NVIDIA game stream for streaming that to their computer. So all I did was I took that link from my computer and I texted it to my friend's computer and that's the computer I'm on right now. All I did was take that link, paste it up in the browser up here, put it however you want, and this is what you're gonna be greeted with right off the bat. It's gonna ask you, you're going to need to install this extension. Now, I highly recommend that you use NVIDIA, um, sorry, not NVIDIA, I highly recommend that you use Google Chrome for this as it's just um, much, much better. Don't use um, Firefox or Internet Explorer. It's much better to use Chrome if you can. Now all you have to do is click install and it's going to pop this up and says would you like to download this extension? You're going to click add app. Don't worry, it's very safe and it'll take just a moment. It's going to add the app and it's going to pop this up. Now this is what we just need to agree to. We're going to click agree and continue and it is going to now pop this up and give us access to our friend's computer. Now we've actually just got into it. So you'll notice though that we're paused and now let's hop over to the other computer and we'll talk about why this is paused. Alrighty guys, we are now back on my main computer and you can see, and we just left my friend's computer and it was paused. This is because we still have GeForce Experience overlay still up. So what we need to do is do Alt plus Z to bring this down. And now let's hop over to our friend's computer and take a look at what happened. Okay, we are now back on our friend's computer and we can see right here that it has changed from the pause menu to the share menu right here. So now we can actually see some stuff going on. It's gonna give us a list of some hotkeys. We can do Alt plus X to open up this overlay at any time. Not to mention, we have a microphone mute here. So we can mute our microphone. I'm gonna do that just so my voice isn't being looped back to my friend's computer. And what we're going to do is we can full screen this by clicking this button right here. And if we click now, join game, it is allowing us to remote control that computer from my friend's computer. I can actually move the mouse around and we are actually playing Overwatch on that computer. This is pretty crazy. Now you may not have this functionality though right off the bat. You might have something different. So let's hop back to my computer and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, we are now back on my computer. We're jumping back and forth a bit. But if we do Alt plus Z again, this will pause that on our friend's computer. As you can see right here, I'm going to cut over there. There you go. See, it is paused. Hop back to my computer now. This is because we have NVIDIA Stream. If we select this, go down to Guest Controls, we have Plays Alongside Me. Now, by default, this may pop up as Watches Me Play. Now, if we select this and press Done, and do Alt plus Z, you can see that now it has changed. We're gonna check a look at my friend's screen right now and you can see that it now has watch game available. Let's go ahead and hop over to that computer again and we're going to have that checked on. Let's see what happens when we do that. Here we go, I moved over again and if we select watch game, we will not have the ability to do anything. See, I'm moving the mouse around, I'm selecting. We cannot do anything right now. We do not have any control. All we can do is watch. So I'm going to hop back to the other computer again. I know this is a little bit, a lot of back and forth, but let's take a look and see what happens now as I move around on that other computer. Here we go. I am back on my main computer again, and I am moving around on this, and we are going to cut over to my friend's computer. See that? We're moving around over there too. Everything is 
synced up. My computer moving around, friend's computer moving around, almost no lag on this whatsoever. Let's dive into a little bit more of those settings now. Let's do Alt plus Z and let's select stream and we can click pause, select this. See my friend's computer, they've been paused just like if we did Alt plus Z. We'll click resume and if we select game stream again, we go down to guest controls and we have play alongside me. This is the last one we've gone play alongside me watches me play and I'm sorry and the last one we have not covered yet is plays as me this is the exact same thing as play alongside me as far as overwatch is concerned because it does not support split screen if you are playing a game that supports split screen you can do plays alongside me and allows you and your friend to play the same game as two different characters at the same time like Star Wars Battlefront I think does support I'm um, don't hold me to that that one though I'm not 100% sure I know a lot of the Lego games do now that said, you can also play that Lego game that would support split screen as plays as me, which means you're going to have the same full screen, but you and your friend can have fun fighting each other as you're moving the mouse left and they're fighting to move the mouse right. But if you do plays alongside me, you'll have basically two mouses, depending on how the game's built. So your friend would have his own controls and you'd have your own controls. But if you do play as me, you both share the same control. So it's kind of funny. It's interesting how it works. But this is basically the full overview. Thank you for bearing with me on this back and forth we've had there. But we are going to click Done. And we are going to do Alt plus Z. And our friend's computer now is going to pop up. And they are going to have the option to click Join Game. So let's just go ahead and cut over and take a look. I'm not going to switch headsets this time. So all we're going to do is just so here we go. We can see what's going on. And we can select Join Game. And you can see we are now remote controlling. Here's me on my friend's game and here's me on my game. So this is basically the whole entire tutorial. We've now finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Leave a thumbs down if you felt that it was a little chaotic and you were a little confused on what was going on. And please leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any more questions whatsoever or any problems. Please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this in the future, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Hey guys, surprise, video's not actually over yet, it's very sorry about that, sorry for the confusion. I wanted to add one little extra thing, that if you do quit your game, let's say we click stop, this is how you end, this is how you stop connection to your friend, stop with your friend is over. I want to quickly show what your friend needs to do to turn off the GeForce experience there. So let's quick hop over to that. Sorry for this mix-up. Just a little extra tidbit here I'm throwing on at the end. Alrighty, now you can see since our friend has closed the game down that our computer here now has lost connection to the session. Session, I should say. So that makes sense. But you can see we were full screened. How do we get out of this? I just wanted to show to let your friend know here's how you get out of this little locked window here. We're going to do Alt plus X, not Z, Alt plus X to open up this overlay here and we can just click this little button here to de full screen it and then click the X right here and we are now closed and we are 100% finished and you can go ahead and close your browser and you're all set to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.